everybody. Well, it's a good thing we like leftovers because that is what our breakfast and lunch was today. And actually that chicken teriyaki bowl is one of those things when I'm making it for dinner, I am really looking forward to having the leftovers the next morning with an egg on top. And that's what we did for breakfast. And then for lunch, we turned around and had it again with the leftovers. We kind of amped up that kale and asparagus farro salad that we had. We added more greens to it, added some more nuts to it, and that was salad at lunch. We even added an avocado to the chicken teriyaki bowl just to make it a little different, but that was lunch today. For dinner, we had a couple of things we needed to use up. We had some Brussels sprouts, and we had some apples, and we had a couple of slices of prosciutto left, and we had prosciutto and we had jalapenos. And when both of us look at it, look at each other with those two ingredients, this is what comes to mind. These are prosciutto wrapped jalapenos. So inside, you cut the jalapeno in half, remove the seeds, then inside is lemon zest, some green onions, and a little bit of goat cheese, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And then you wrap them in a little bit of prosciutto. You can put them in the oven or put them on the grill. They are so insanely good. I will be honest with you, the first time that we made these, um, about half of them made it to the dinner table because they were flying off the pan. We were eating them that fast. They are so good. And then the Brussels sprouts, the great thing about this salad is the Ninja does all the chopping work. And so we chopped up the Brussels sprouts, the carrots, we did chop up the apple, but then you make the dressing in the Ninja as well. And it's got dates and some orange juice and olive oil. It is super good. And it's also awesome leftover. Um, and then, so the next thing that we're going to do now that we've got dinner ready, we are going to be on the go first thing in the morning. And so we are doing an overnight oatmeal, but this is a new recipe. And so this is Black Forest overnight oats. And so there are frozen cherries in it. So our little overnight oatmeal recipe or formula, half a cup of old fashioned oats, half a cup of yogurt, half a cup of, this is unsweetened almond milk. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tablespoon of cocoa powder, a tablespoon of chia seeds, a tablespoon of pure maple syrup, and then we're gonna toss in a cup of frozen cherries. We're going to stir this all together until everything is mixed well and combined. We're gonna divide it in two mason jars. So this is gonna make two servings. And then once I get it in the mason jars, we're gonna to top it with some chopped almonds and these little cacao nibs, which they're kind of like just little coarsely chopped chocolate. And they're not super sweet, but they're gonna be perfect on this overnight oatmeal. And hopefully it will be a winner. So stay tuned. We'll stick it in the fridge and it will be ready to grab and go in the morning with a spoon and we'll be out the door. So we'll see you tomorrow.